Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create an API to create the task. So let's get started. Let's go to the admin service. And here I'm going to create a new method that is a create task. In the argument, it will receive an object of the task DTO. And the return type of this method that is a task DTO. Let's go to the admin service impl. Let me implement the method that is a create task. Inside this method, I'm going to fetch the user from the database. So let me create the object of the optional user. And it will be an optional user. Let me call it the user repository and the method that is a find by ID. Inside this, we need to pass here the ID. So we will get ID from the task DTO that is a task DTO dot get employee ID. After this, I'm going to add a that condition where we need to check if the optional user is present, then we need to create a new task. Otherwise, we need to return here the null. Inside that condition, I'm going to create here the object of task entity. Let me set here the title. We will get title from the task DTO dot get title. Task dot set description. We will get description from the task DTO. Task dot set priority. Let me get the priority from the task DTO. After that, I'm going to set here the due date. We will get due date from the task DTO. Let me set here the task status and it will be a task status dot in progress. Task dot set user. So it will be an optional user dot get. After that, I'm going to call a method from the task repository that is a save to create the new task in the DB. So on the top, I'm going to inject here the task repository. So it will be a private final task repository. And it will be a task repository dot save. Inside the argument, we need to pass here the object that is a task. And we need to call a method from the task entity that is a get task DTO. And it will be a return. Let's go to admin controller. And here I'm going to create a method to call the method from the admin service. So let me add here the response entity and it will be a task DTO. And name of the method that is a create task. Inside the argument, I'm going to add here the notation that is at the rate request body to get the request payload from the endpoint. So it will be object of the task DTO. Inside this method, I'm going to call a method from the admin service that is a create task. Let me give you the task DT object. And here I'm going to create an object to save the response of this method. So it will be a task DTO and the created task DTO. I'm going to add a test condition where we need to check if the created task DTO is equal is equals to null. Then we need to return here the response that is a response entity dot status that is a HTTP status dot that request dot build. If the created task DTO not is equals to null, then you need to return here the response that is a response entity dot status that is a HTTP status dot created. And inside the body, I'm going to give here the object that is a created task DTO. On the top, I'm going to add a generation that is at the rate post mapping to access this endpoint and the URL of this endpoint that is a slash task. Let's run the Spring Boot application. You can see here application started successfully. Let's go to MySQL database. Let me refresh the schema. And you can see here the new table that is a task. Let's go to the Postman and let's test the API. You can see here the URL of the login API. That is a slash API slash auth slash login. Mapping is a post. And you can see here the request payload where we have a credentials of the admin. Let's click on this send button. Let me copy the token. Let's go to the second tab. You can see here the URL of the create task endpoint. That is a slash API slash admin slash task mapping. It will be a post. You can see here the request payload of the create task endpoint where we have a title, description, due date, priority, and the employee ID. Let's go to authorization tab. Let me select here the barrier token from the drop down. And here I'm going to add the token of the login admin. Let's click on this send button. And you can see here the status of the API that is a 201 created. And you can see here the response of the API where we are getting the object of the created task. Let's go to the MySQL database. Let me refresh the task table. And you can see here the newly created task. So that's all enough for my side. 
If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.